I'll see. My name is Elena Kostarina, and I'm the um, director of master's program in applied psychology in AUCA, American University of Central Asia in Kyrgyzstan. Um, I'm glad to make a presentation today and talk a little bit about our program. Master's in psychology here at AUCA is a two-year program where um, we really emphasize student-centered learning and practice-oriented training in the fields of counseling and um, in the field of, of uh, research in applied psychology. So I will try to be brief and make some highlights and show a little bit of what our program can give to students, including international students. Um, probably many of you know, uh, being our audience today, many of the students might know what you can do with an MA in psychology. Uh, so there is a range of places. Uh, it can vary country to country, but there is a range of places where you could build a career having a master's uh, degree in psychology, working in a counseling center, clinic, university, or school um, is uh, possible. Opening your private practice, working as part of HR department, doing research uh, or pers pursuing your um, career further and getting another degree, higher degree, like a PhD or PsyD. Some of the highlights, uh, our curriculum, um, our curriculum really adheres to international standards. We um, uh, take, um, we have uh, some of the uh, kind of templates um, and we learn from educational standards from US, uh, similar programs and masters in um, counseling and mental health. We have only uh, late in the day cl offline classes. Which makes people, which makes it easier for people to work and live their life and study. We have in training, intensive training in both counseling and research. Um, uh, when I say in different languages, I mean that there are opportunities to have internship in different languages. Although the all educations, all the classes are in English. Uh, we have access to international literature. We have uh, we make sure we have access to all the um, English language uh, international journals, including specific psychological databases, research databases. We have on internships on campus, internships off campus, uh, and we participate in grants. Uh, you can get hands-on knowledge uh, working with clients and communities, and hands-on knowledge doing research. Um, so our uh, curriculum, some of the details, uh, well, you can see that it's a two-year program uh, and we have some of the required courses. You don't see all of the electives. Some of the required courses include theories in psychology, graduate writing, and um, we call it graduate writing, thinking and learning, actually. We have classes on assessment, counseling, theories, abnormal psychology. We help people to prepare their dissertation by teaching what's called writing colloquium. And we have courses that get, give supervision um, when you're doing your internship. We have three so-called concentrations or tracks. You can get knowledge and uh, especially internship in counseling psych chat and adolescent counseling and working with parents. Uh, by the way, we have several specialists who work um, in applied behavioral analysis and are certified who also help to develop this part and work with children with disabilities, for example, ch uh, special children um, and uh, their parents. And we have some research uh, track, which I will mention a little later. So the practical component, uh, Institute for Behavioral Health is our uh, student-led um, clinic uh, where students see clients from local communities uh, and do groups, including groups. Uh, we teach those subjects and we provide supervision. Uh, and that this, this entity, the structure helps people to get um, internship in different languages. Well, in... Uh, uh, in addition to that, there is uh, like all these components that you can see on the slide uh, that students have access to providing, doing testing, um, getting some practice and di initial diagnosis, intakes, phone intakes, and having enough uh, supervision. These are all parts of this experience uh, while you students are doing internship. These are some other partners that we have. We work with the local Red Cross, uh, Red Cross um, uh, National Center for Mental Health in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, well, in some of this, uh, in some of the structures, 
there is a there are opportunities to work in English, and uh, we have other opportunities for stu for international students who can work in English locally. We have study abroad opportunities. These are the most active ones um, that you can see. They are universities of social sciences and and or psychology in these different universities, which we have connections now. Well, the research component, uh, we practice research teams where students in small groups help faculty um, conducting ongoing research. That's usually an ongoing project uh, that helps students to really um, dive into the active uh, work, applied research, and taking some specific tasks and being guided, being supervised while doing this. We really value this component. Um, uh, it uh, has been running for a couple of years, and we have been pretty successful having some um, publications uh, of faculty with students, for example, and participating in conferences. So uh, these are examples of what's going on right now, and they like come and go. Some of the research topics um, um, are introduced every year for the students to participate in the research team. So the last that I want to talk about is graduate assistantship opportunity. Uh, we provide students uh, who would like to get financial aid with an opportunity to work as a graduate assistant. Um, and they have a contract with the department um, and get some a little bit of a financial aid support uh, that requires a couple hours a week to four hours a week work. Um, depending on each year, we have different opportunities to who you can work with doing teaching assistantship or research assistantship. Okay, that's what people need for to for admissions. That's the key things of what they need for admissions. Okay, our um, so we start taking applications from uh, even Ju uh, January, but usually the first deadline is in April. And the deadlines go almost until September. Okay, thank you very much. These are our contacts. We use Instagram actually pretty actively. That's not maybe that's not very common for the university programs. Um, you could check our Instagram for getting more details and stories from alumni, for example, and listening to some of our professors' lectures. Um, thank you so much for your attention. <laughs>